What's up bosses, I'm JoeMan543 and in this video I'm going to react to SpaceX's Starship SN11 launch and hopefully landing. Let's hop into it. Alright, so um, it's clearly very foggy, so <laughs> we Ten, probably won't see much until eight, it gets up above seven, the cloud cover. Six, so here we five, go, three raptors, four, three, and we'll lift this thing off two, the ground. One. <laughs> I love how the light just goes through all the fogs. There's just this diffused plume of light. Oh man. Alright, so, uh, well, it just went dark. <laughs> hey, there we go. Alright, so we see those three raptors looking good. Um, I, everything seems a little more organized. I don't know. Previous launches, there were. Uh oh, we got a little fire on there. Um, it's not shutdown time yet for this. Those uh, rocket engines. T plus 33 um, seconds. Hopefully nothing's Starship wrong with that. Vehicle number 11 ascending over Starbase in South Texas. Wow, Heard that's. Call out. We're over one kilometer is that up. orange smoke, or is that just the tinting the clouds? I'm. I don't know, man. That's definitely seeing some stuff uh, in this one that we did not see before. Okay, on the wing there, I think I see some heat shields, um, but not. Uh, not very much at the moment. At the moment, obviously, they would be just testing out in small areas because they're not going high enough to need the heat shields yet. I can't wait to see once they do go that high, though. It's going to be pretty amazing. And based off of previous launches, this is probably going to go up to about six minutes or so um, by the time we're looking at touchdown. Now, I'm really hoping, I'm crossing my fingers, I'm really hoping this is going to work out for them because SN8 the had some engine problems. Um, and uh, it kind of burned up its engine and came down a little too hard. SN9 had some engine problems. Okay, we're gimbling one of those out of the way. Now we're down to two Raptors. Nice. Um, as I was saying, SN9 had some problems, so it kind of flipped over a little too far and set on side almost. Um, obviously not the right way to land. SN10 was the first to land without exploding immediately, but unfortunately it did... It was technically a soft landing, but it still landed pretty hard, and that seemed to damage some things, and uh, about five minutes later, it exploded. So, <laughs> um, seemed like it exploded from pressure, and then it ignited after it already burst from pressure. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, it, it was kind of a hard landing, and uh, only about half the legs that were supposed to catch it actually worked, actually caught it. Um, we're almost at the maximum altitude, and if, Previous ones are any indication. We'll go up to that max altitude and then sit there for a minute. And I'm not sure if it's just a matter of sitting just to make sure the engine works or if they're actually burning off fuel so that G they don't have a lot a at the you can bottom. See with the camera view, we have shut down the second of the three engines as planned. We're now slowly climbing to the final 10 kilometer altitude on the power of the single Raptor engine. Once All right, so down to one Raptor right now, climb into that final 10 kilometers. Seems like the cameras are having a hard time at the moment. Not sure if the cloud cover might be affecting that. Um, I do know clouds can affect signals though, so that is what I'm thinking is probably happening there. Or it could be a raccoon. <laughs> Inside joke on my channel. While we're waiting to re-establish video connection with the vehicle, we have shut down the third of the three Raptor engines as planned. We're now beginning the horizontal... Alright, so right, right about now it would have had the kick so that it can start falling sideways. That always happens at 420. The, the highest part of the flight is always at 420, it seems. <laughs> Gotta love Elon Musk. Okay, we have a little bit of video here. We can see it's starting to roll to the side. Starting to tip. Um, not a lot of video. Oh, okay, here we go. Now we can see it's on its side. It's coming down. Oh man, that stainless steel looks so good. I love it. Man, I'm, I'm just loving the colors that are going into this thing. Even though it's foggy on the ground, like, I don't know, maybe the sky looked bluer or something. And then we see this orangish tint um, coming off of Starship. Um, I do know that this was pretty early in the morning, so it could be some sunrise that's given some orange tint to this. Um, but anyway, I think it looks great. <laughs> okay, so we see those engines there. Obviously they're off right now because Starship's just falling sideways. 
You can see those legs there. Hopefully they all play. All right, time to fire those up. Hopefully this works out. Hopefully the video signal will keep up as well. So right now there should be a, a sort of kick so that it can get upright again. Really hoping this works. We can barely even see it. Might have to react to a second video on this as well. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, it probably touched down right about now. We're, uh... Yeah, I, I would say at this point it's either touched down or exploded. Um, video signals are really struggling on this one. Well, this is the official SpaceX video of all this. The official SpaceX broadcast. So... Um, <laughs> what do we do with this? What do we do? Okay, so we seem to have lost cameras, and uh, I guess there's so much fog, don't even know if it landed? <laughs> okay, so found another video stream here. Ooh, okay, so, um, SN11, uh... <laughs> Exploded before reaching the ground, unfortunately. Um, well, that's that's a conclusion to that, I suppose. Unfortunately, due to the video streams pausing and the fog, there's really not a lot of good view on trying to see that. It'll definitely be interesting to find out how and why S11 exploded. Um, wow. All right. Well, I think that concludes this video of SN11. Unfortunately, with the fog and uh, the camera issues on the rocket, not much to see, but it does appear that SN11 exploded somewhere up in the air, and it rained down some debris. Um, the last call out, it seemed, was about one kilometer up, so I would guess that's probably where it exploded. Um, rip SN11. <laughs> SN15 is next up. They're just going to skip on up to 15 because there's just so many upgrades up to there. So that's what will be going on there. Well, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.